Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking some time out to actually make another goth related YouTube drama video and this time it's about Kat Von D. Um, Kat Von D last year had made a comment um, replying to actually another comment from one of her supporters asking if she had planned to vaccinate or not vaccinate her child. Which she responded that she had done her research and decided that she wasn't going to vaccinate her child. Now, after that happened, there was a lot of uproar about it, uh, the dangers of it, and why she should vaccinate her child. And pretty much the vote was like split in half. Half the people decided that they didn't want to support her and what they called behavior, and half of her supporters actually supported her decision. So with that being said, you're kind of caught up on to where it's at. After that, there was a lot of hate thrown her way. Death messages. There was also people making anti-vaccination jokes. Um, some were wishing death upon her child. Like, it got to the point to where it was fucking ridiculous. I know that she was a representative for a few other brands other than her own makeup line as well. Um, so, it got to the point to where it was a shit show. It was, like, everywhere. It was ridiculous. And finally, I think it was a couple days ago, she actually made a video to respond to all of the drama. Now, in this video, she went back into her history and started talking about some things. Now, when we start into the allegations of her being a Nazi, apparently back in the day when she was with, I believe it wasn't LA Inc., it was Miami Inc., because LA Inc. is the one that she was running. Well, she had some issues with one of the dudes that was working on that show. And that's why she came into LA Inc. and left Miami Inc. Well, she had left some headshots with signatures and somebody who didn't like her. And the whole reason that she left, she assumes that he wrote something on one of the photos. And next thing you know, guess what? Everybody's saying, hey, you're a Nazi. Now, I guess she's had to deal with this for multiple years and always having to defend herself. And I think she just got tired of it and decided to do like, I think it was like a 10 minute video. It really wasn't even that long, honestly. And I'll even put the link in the description below so you guys can watch it as well. So even in the video, she even says, hey, I don't know if you really done it, but I've always think, thought that she, that he did. What is wrong with me? Anyway, moving on besides my... <laughs> anyway, so moving on to the second part of the video, you know, it gets into the anti-vaxxing allegations. And she's like, you know, I did a lot of research. I'm a new mom. I want to make sure, you know, what my kid's coming in contact, which anybody who gives a crap about their kid obviously understands. I mean, as a new parent, you have those worries. Like, what am I putting on my kid? What is my kid eating? What is my kid going to be around? Is that person that touches them, have they washed her hands? Like, we all went through this. And if you haven't, or you didn't, can't relate. Sorry. So then she goes on to say, you know, I'm going to keep my child's medical records between us. They will no longer be online. That's what she should have done in the first place. Because people are judgmental assholes. And... You're like a public figure. You're like freaking huge. I remember watching you on TV going, you know, she reminds me of Linda Blair a little bit. And I like it. Okay, side note though, doesn't she totally remind you of Linda Blair? Like, you know, when Linda Blair was doing the whole um, exorcist thing? I'm just saying there's similar similarities and I want to know if I'm the only one that's ever seen it. So comment below. Even though I know... Probably someone else is out there who's mentioned it. And this is totally unrelated to the video. But I've always had that thought. So I'm kind of curious. Like, is there a relation somewhere? Or is it just really good fucking genetics? I want to know. But anyways, back on subject at hand. So she goes on to say, you know, 
I'm not saying I'm an anti-vaxxer. And she doesn't really say that she fully decided that she's going to do vaccinations for her child. But it was more of like, you know, we're consulting with our physician and they know more than we do and we're still learning and blah, 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 blah. right? So here's my little opinion about the whole thing. When you're new and you're a parent and it's your first kid, you don't want to fuck them up, okay? You don't want to be the parent that fucks up their first kid and doesn't do the best for them, okay? That's just part of being a good parent, in my opinion, is giving a shit about your kid, okay? So, with that being said, do I think Kat Von D is a horrible person? No. One, because... I've never met her. I don't know her. But when you watch people and you watch their movements, you pick up little things about them, even though they don't know that. And what I'm getting is she doesn't want things to end up badly. She wants to give her kid the opportunity that she may have not ever got. And to me, I don't see an issue with that. Of course, we're going to question, you know, certain things and to try to make sure that it's okay for our kids and whatever we do. But, you know, all this drama, all this BS has, you know, overweighed her wedding, overweighed her child, overweighed, you know, different brands that she might have worked with. Like, it's time for it to come to an end and get, you know, we all make mistakes. We all, you know, have our different opinions. But at the end of the day, it's doing what's best for you and your family. If you feel like that's the best route, go with it. Now, with that being said, I bid you all good night, good day, wherever you may be. Have fun, and I'll see you guys next week.